This is Pastor Rodney. Have you prayed today? I mean, really prayed today. You know, there are so many scriptures that teaches the importance of prayer in our lives. How its value cannot be replaced. It is irreplaceable. Too many people go about their lives, even in the simplest of things, without praying. When I was a child, prayer was paramount with the people of God. <laughs> they prayed for everything. They prayed about everything. They prayed in everything. It was really their go-to. I thank God for my foundation in prayer. Because so often I find that in every circumstance, I pray. And somehow it gives me the resilience. It gives me the wherewithal. It gives me the calmness that allows me to go throughout my day and deal with the things that are on my plate without losing control. The word of the Lord says in Psalms chapter 34, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. <laughs> Prayer. Yeah, there's a lot of people that feel like, well, Pastor, you know, yeah, I pray, but, you know, I just put action to everything that I do and I put my, you know, my hands to the grind and my feet to the grind and I just do what I have to do. Yeah, but have you prayed today? See, because when you pray, it connects you to a power that's greater than you. For the scripture tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. There are circumstances of life that truly can be overwhelming for you. But there is nothing too hard for God. For he is great and mighty. The word of God tells us in the book of James that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous one avails much. And then it teaches us that we should always pray and never to faint. See, because when you stay consistent in prayer, it allows you to recognize that God is in control. Not the world, not your circumstances, not your issues. No, God is in control. And the word of God tells us that God worked six days and on the seventh day, he rested from all of his labor. And so this morning, take time to pray. Take time to pray about everything, all of your concerns. The word of God says, casting all of your cares upon him because he cares for you. God cares for what you're going through. And he has strength available for you if you would just pray. Seek his face. Turn from your wicked ways. Then he would hear from heaven and forgive you of your sin and heal your land. But you got to pray. You got to pray. So in Jesus' name, why don't you do that now? Take a moment to stop whatever you're doing and pray for we pause we reflect and we emerge to life in Jesus name 
Thank you, Lord.